All right, just got in there, topped up all the grit and pink mineral powder. You can see little hens are getting right into it. Um, probably I top this up every day now, the breeding. It's unreal how quickly they go through it and all the little hens, like especially this one and this one here, um, they will just continually eat it. Um, fresh water, everything today, food, uh, fresh water every day, but um, I just got in there and gave everything a good um, top up because they are absolutely hammering it. Oh, oh, no, I thought there was one more left out, but they all must have just come in. So I just had these ones out for a fly. Not flying very much at the moment, but that's cool. Um, we are blending them all together, the older ones and the younger ones. Come on, let's go. All right, get in there. Right, so I'm just gonna shut them in there for the time being, and we'll open up this other little one. Um, all the babies in here, apart from that one Kruger hen still, but uh, they're doing really well. They're eating all of them. They're eating super well, actually. This tray was almost empty before, which is good. They've been actually starting to pick up the peas. Oh, calm down. You're a bit crazy. Oh, and they're all going crazy. But I'm pretty happy how they're going. Slowly, slowly, all these young birds with the blue rings starting to fill those perches. All right, now that is a good sign. The best hen is hovering around the nest again. So I'll hopefully get her down on some eggs, which are fantastic. If you do remember, we moved the other pair down the bottom here. Um, so we're fostering that pair and getting her another pair there, which is really, really good. Then we might just slow down for a little bit, ready for some one loft action. Oh yeah, them two are in there. They should be on eggs again soon as well. What's Apache doing? You're being a bit of a character, are you? Nope. All right, so what I did before is I got the rings on these birds. I was trying, I was planning to do it last night, but um, it's not really too stressful. Um, so these are both ringed up, which is good. These are two different ones. This one here is from that side, but um, you know, we're letting Rosetta have a chance of raising up some babies and she's gonna do the double instead of raising two singles. So I'm um, pretty happy with them. The other pair, is um these are the foster pairs we got as well i got the rings on these baby so these ones are can i just hop off for a second thank you very much excuse me um so this pair these are from apache and little storm it's going to be very interesting you see there is such a difference in color here so we i'm interested to see what this one's going to be um, this is going to be your general blue bar checker type thing, but this one could be pied, so we'll keep a very close eye on it. You can see there looks like some pieing action in that, um, the pied sort of coloration in the toenails and that, so um, it's going to be pretty interesting to see how that turns out, because this is the first ones from these guys up above. Look at the little next round of Leo Storms. Looking pretty good. Two little checkers, what I'm really keen, I love the checkers that come out of Leon Storm, they're really nice birds. And it looks like these are going to be quite nice also. The second round of Veenstra crosses are looking pretty good as well. They're quite cuddled up in there. Um, hopefully they'll turn out just as nice as the other ones. All right, come on big girl. Hopefully these guys are okay. Yeah, good. So keeping a good close eye on. I won't disturb it too much, but fingers crossed two actual tight grizzles this time. Like the mother would be fantastic. All right, so hopefully this hen is going to lay soon. I've been waiting for some time. Hopefully she will. This pair has taken so long. I'll tell you what, some pairs are already on the second round of babies that, um, you know, they're both young, which is probably the problem. Um, both in experience. And uh, no action yet on these ones. These are the best hen 83 ones we're fostering down here. We've got one of Shock Sons down doing a pretty good job. So hopefully he does um, get those ones hatch out pretty quick because they will be part of our one loft um, and a lot of the other ones will be around that age so stay tuned and I'll see you all in the next video